Allow me to thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared around the world, and we were, are grateful that you would assist us with ours. Though Kryl her herself is tied up with another investigation, Nariu is an eminently capable substitute, and we will spare no effort to aid, to aid you. So if I understand correctly, you seek to make talismans that can nullify etheric emissions. Indeed we do. As you know, the tower emits vast concentrations of aether. One cannot go anywhere near it without being tem tempered. As such, we can only study the tower from afar, and are powerless to deal with it in any consequential way. In order to strike back, the satrap bade us alchemists create enchanted talismans, talismans that will allow our soldiers to venture into the tower, even should they lack innate protection. Could such a thing be possible? Admittedly, we're still in the midst of testing, but we are quite confident. Even prior to this, our people have long pursued countermeasures against the etheric corruption of primals. Of the methods tested to date, those utilizing dragon scales proved the most promising. Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disruptive for forces. The mightier the dragon, the greater the resistance. We seek to amplify this protective property through our alchemy. Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we will be ready to conduct a field test, and here is where you and your blessing of light come in. Uh, nothing complicated, I assure you. We ask only that you serve as an escort. I will explain in greater detail later, but you will be venturing into the tower's field of influence. And so, for your own safety, I would first test how well your blessing shields you, with your p permission, of course. Uh, sure, question mark? I guess, sure. In that case, Orianger and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing as you all work to the point of collapse, I suspect you could do with more hands. We would be grateful for any assistance you can provide. If you are ready, then let us put your blessing to the proof. If you exit the great work and turn south, there will be a hill to, hill to the right. I will meet you at the top after seeing to some preparations. Okay. <laughs> I hope you didn't have trouble finding this place or climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to the physical strain. I give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many a sleepless night, the drunken d deepa. What? A deepa is a lantern presented to the gods as an offering. Taking inspiration from the tradition, we created this device to test the talisman's efficacy. Upon activation, it will move a certain distance. It will move a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of aether. In lieu of corruption, those lacking sufficient protection will experience severe aether sickness. For your test, you will be exposed four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin whenever you're ready. I shall be observing from a safe distance. Uh oh. Commencing etheric exposure testing. Repeat. Commencing etheric exposure testing. Retreat to a safe distance if you are not the subject. Follow the drunken Deepa's lead and try not to fall behind. Oh, it's a lantern that bounces around and moves. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Readying Aether, please stand back. Ready to discharge. Okay. Okay. You're struck by a powerful blast of aether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject has no irrepre irrepressible urge to empty their stomach. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. You're struck by another powerful blast of aether, but suffer no ill effects. 
Subject stomach and bowel integrity holding confirmed. Resuming tests, please follow. You're struck by yet another powerful blast of aether, but suffer no ill effects. The blessing of light appears to be keeping you safe from harm. Subject fortitude rated impressive. No irregularities confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow and brace for final discharge. Gross. You are struck by the strongest blasts of Aether yet that survive completely unscathed. Aetheric exposure testing concluded. Please collect and deliver me to the supervising alchemist. Congratulations on your re retaining your composure and your humors. Thank you. Ah, you've returned, and not on your knees. A promising sign. But come, let me take the deepa off your hands. But it's so cute. It's such a cute little lantern guy. Thank you. I shall replenish its aether for when we test the talisman. So no dizziness or nausea or anything of the sort? You're feeling perfectly fine? Then the strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There is no risk that the tower will corrupt your aether. With this, we can request your aid for the task ahead with easy hearts. Nidhana regards you with those eyes you could drown in. <laughs> hmm, you are a capable warrior too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assisting with another errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special ink, but we have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it, spirit weed. The herb grows not far from here, and I would like to go harvest some. I would like- yeah. With the recent spate of kidnappings, however, we, Arca Sadara, travel alone at our peril. Will you not come with me as my escort? I would compensate you for your troubles, of course. I'm in your debt. Without further ado, let us head to K Kajaya's footsteps. It is situated on the road which runs east of the Great Work. Now here's a question. Oh, no mind. I may simply be imagining it, but I feel as though we're being followed. Look out! Gods, but that gave me a fright. To think that the moment I ventured outside the safety of the work... Thank the sisters I asked you to come with me. You're all right, I hope. I mean, I guess. Good, good. Let's continue on, then. It isn't far now, just through these pillars and up the rise. And here we are, the Kajaya, Kajaya's footsteps. Kajaya was a great dancer, and those who follow in her, well, you know, they come to this place to train and dedicate their dance to their ancestors. A happy benefit of this is that spirit weed grows here in abundance. I will set about harvesting at once, if you would be so good as to stand guard. The kidnappers aren't like to return soon, but better safe than sorry. Okay. Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Oh. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. Oh. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Completely! Without the satrap and his line, Rads and Han would not exist. Okay. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasutra. I've been saying that wrong the whole time. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasutra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, Forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hyor from the mainland mm. decided they wanted the island for themselves. Mm. Humans, am I right? 
It was a direct ancestor of the present satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Raz at Han to thrive all these years. And it was the satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. Hmm. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. Uh oh. And Daniel to admire one of my splendid towers. And what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. <laughs> I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? <laughs> oh, something. Oe. Oh, another, another body, another, another time. time. Who could be expected to remember <laughs> every trivial detail? Good point. It's rough. Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plan. Yeah, and yet, that makes sense. I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? With the help of the Warrior of Light, of course. <laughs> Complications be damned. For we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, and my own worst enemy. Okay. I have enough spirit weed to last us a good while. Thank you for keeping watch. Let us head back to the great work, shall we? Nari, you my thanks again for your assistance. With your help, we are that little bit closer to completing our talisman. This isn't much, but please accept it as a token of my gratitude. If you will excuse me, I shall return to my work on the talisman. Ah, you are both back. Excellent. I have a message for you, Mistress Nidhana. It would seem the stores of Giant Skull are running low. What? But when last I looked, there was still plenty. I suspect that was before Oriange told everyone about their tempering cure, and Astinian shared his knowledge of dragons. Your peers have since been inspired to fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. I see. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, then far be it from me to complain, but we will need to replenish our stores. I should be happy to tend to this, if you like. As much as I appreciate the offer, my dear boy, I can't in good conscience send you out there alone while kidnappers are at large. Now are you low th though I am to press another task upon you s on you so soon, might I ask you to fetch the giant skull? Sure. In case you're not familiar, giant skull is a type of ore found on the island. Owing to its hardness and ethereal conductivity, it has applications in many disciplines, alchemy not least of all. 
The quarry where it is found, aptly named, aptly named Giant Skull Grounds, isn't far away, so it shouldn't take much of your time. May we impose on you once more? Sure. Thank you. Upon arriving at the grounds, please seek out a man named Zen Zenuha. He will furnish you with this with the ore. Okay. At the very least, permit me to accompany you. It so happens I have an errand of my own that will take me to the outpost nearby. May we borrow a pair of hums Hamsa, Mistress Nidhana? By all means, do try to be patient with them. Those that survived are still in training. I will bring Mahamsa to the entrance. Meet me there when you are ready. I'm assuming that's a mount of some sort. Here are Hamsa. If the creatures look familiar, it's because they are close kin to your Eorzean dodos. Oh, I see them. Hamsa have long been kept as livestock in Thavnir, and many a hatchery may be found here. Alas, the largest of these was recently raised by monsters from the tower. Oh. On account of said hatchery being situated near the tower, the Radiant Host repurposed its remnants as an outpost. That is where my errand takes me, and your own destination is but a stone's throw away. If you have no objections, let us first make for the outpost. We set forth at your word. You are ready? Then let us depart. You need only ride and relax. My bird and I will take the lead for yours to follow. Sure. <laughs> Let us be off. If you haven't ridden dodos before, be warned that they have a wobbling gait. Yep, I see this. This is amazing. I can't see what her expression is, but I hope it's terrified. That spectacular formation stretching out over the wat- oh. This sword legend holds was wielded by Menusia against the Murga before it was cast down at conflict's end. Okay. To the left, and requiring no introduction, is the tower. As you can see, it straddles a small aisle. Almost there, though the main part of the hatchery is atop the cliff, the outpost itself is on the beach. And here we are, manned by the Radiant Host, this outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. The fuck's a Radiant Host? So they're guards, or like... Ah, I guess. Well, well, who should it be but young Varshan? On an errand for the satrap? I am, his excellency bade me come collect your report. He also wished to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging dedita dedication. My nose is itchy. We simply do our duty, but we are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for his boundless benevolence, his treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous. Though we have enjoyed relative peace and calm these past few days, this remains the front line of battle, no place for children. Your predecessor too often traveled alone. It's been, what, two years now since you took over? I wonder how the fellow is faring. Like those before him, he went on to represent the satrap in foreign lands. Wherever he may, be, he may now be, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do of my own volition, and gladly. I pray you do not think ill of his excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith in the satrap is unwavering. But I still worry for you. We would be overcome with sadness if something were to befall you, for you are as a little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? I will, Nab Nabdeen. Thank you. And who might this be? Not Hanish, by the look, in by the look of her. Permit me to introduce Nariu Akari of the Eorzean Contingent, come to assist in the making of the talisman. From Eorzea, you say? Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me, what is the situation like? May I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn something of value, I believe. Sure. 
An excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat, some of ours are understandably anxious. We would be glad for any tidings you can share. You two, bring Varshan the latest report and answer any questions he may have. Ah, I've heard of you. I've heard about you, the visitor from Eorzea. Is there anything you can tell us about the Telephori? We know that they are the ones behind the tower, and that they've declared war on the whole world. But why are they doing this? What is it that they want? We don't understand. I also don't understand. What? They want to die and take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, you can bet that we won't let those bastards have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have, like, Aeor uh, like our Eorzean and Far Eastern brothers. Kutiyu. You wish to know about the tower? To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. This Tower of Zot, as folk have taken to calling it, suddenly appeared where it did on the island of Nurinar. We're safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far into the water, and you'll expose yourself to its corrupting aether. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How are they dealing with this- with the tower in your homeland? Our struggles are not unique, then our hopes still lie with the talismans. We must keep the monsters contained until they're ready. It occurs to me that I have yet to properly introduce our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. Our duty is to preserve peace in the land, be it patrolling the streets or dealing with heretofore unknown threats such as now. We train hard and admit only capable warriors to our ranks. Even so, we've struggled to contend with the fiends from the tower. Though we succeeded in striking them down on the two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. What of the towers in Eorzea? Do they likewise spawn monsters? So it's much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls for outside aid to be answered. Finished speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it was as enlightening for you as it was for them. As a neutral nation and trading hub both, Radzat Han ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Alas, this stream dried up when trading vessels stopped coming. Amidst the death, the dearth of information, everyone will have been grateful for your account. But come, you had best see to your original errand, as mine will keep me here a while longer. However, I'm afraid I cannot guide you the rest of the way. Worry not, the path is straightforward. You need, you need but follow the road east. Upon the Hamsa, you will arrive before you know it. Brief though it was, I enjoyed our time together. Till we meet again. What? Oh. Is... Sure. No sooner do you arrive at your destination than the Hamsa d dashes off. How rude, but okay. I'm starting to get a headache. Aye, this is indeed the giant skull grounds, and I am Zenuha. Is there something you require? Yes. Giant skull for the alchemists, you say? But of course they shall have it. They labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and tis the least we can do to provide them with the materials they need. 